Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, good morning. Wait, what was it? Good morning, Mrs. Brown. I'm no, I'm a mess, I'm not married. Good morning, Miss Brown. Good morning, everybody. Do you used to do that at school? It's traumatic. But good morning, guys. It is a Sunday. Don't know why I had to tell you that, but it's Sunday today. And today's gonna be a very busy day. We're gonna have, as you can see from the title, a bookish day together. I love books. Everyone knows I love books. But what do I love more? Shopping for books. I am so excited for today. It is currently quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. And I've been up since five. We have to leave in 15 minutes because we are gonna go back to the 66 book warehouse. If you haven't seen my video of where I went for the very first time and I got loads of books for such a cheap price, please, here you go, here it is. Click on it, check it out, but don't judge me because I'm dyslexic and I try and read out these blurb synopsis, whatever it's called, and I can't do it. So that's fun, but yeah, so we're going back there, we're going to different places as well. Basically this whole video is everything you can possibly think of that somebody would do with books is gonna be in this video. We're gonna shop for books, we're gonna shop for furniture things, for books, we're gonna read, we're gonna edit about reading, we're gonna do the whole works basically. But I think we're gonna do this over today and tomorrow just because I have work today, which never happens on a Sunday, but they have called me in today in the afternoon so I can't do everything in one day. So this video is gonna be spread across probably two days, yes. But first, I need to, one, find a jacket to wear, because I have no idea what I'm going to wear. So you need to help me with that. And two, I need to go pick up the guys, because they're coming with me. Because I don't want to be driving around the whole of the UK by myself. Like, I'm more than happy to do it by myself. But if I had a choice, I'm taking my friends along with me. I think, I think that's understandable. But yes, let's get into today's video. Enough of me talking. You get the gist of what's going to happen. So let's just do it. I've got a little guest with me. He's not supposed to be up here, but here he is. Uh, it's only just, just starting to get light. It's not for me. It's not for me. I get up early. I'm an early bird. Well, I'm trying to be an early bird. I cannot deal with it being dark. I can't. You're on the windowsill now, so I'm just getting, like, pink at the moment from my window. Look, we need to pick a coat to wear. To wear this? I haven't worn this in so long but the only thing with this it's a tall and i'm not tall i'm very very short so i have a feeling this is gonna absolutely drown me and i don't particularly want to wear heels either because that's not no oh i look like a hamster i mean i think i really like it but it's, it's coming down mid thigh so i just kind of cropped it this looks stupid. Yeah, we're not gonna wear that. Mm. See, usually we re re-wearing stuff. Um, I do all the time. But I wore this the last time I went. And I don't think I can do that again. So that's a no. There is nothing in there. I'm um, seriously, might just have to wear this. Again, I can be basic and go with my body warmer, which, which is what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna wear my body warmer and then my usual everyday bag. This is the outfit. I know it's really basic and it's not that exciting, but this is it. Just got my hair half up, half down. Makeup as per usual. My skin's doing all right. I feel like I've got more like scarring going on than actual acne now so I need to figure out how to get rid of that if you've got any tips or tricks to get rid of acne stars please leave a comment down below please help me out because it's something I really do struggle with but what it is time to go so let's go pick up the guys Too 
So, £120 worth of books. Yep. How much did you pay? 36 was it? Yeah. We had £66 and paid 19 Oh, it's just, here we go. That's the place if you want to be. For cheap books and cars that don't work. <laughs> We're gonna get that in the shot as well. We can't go in yet, it's too early. So we're going to get some food instead. To yeah, I'm talking to the camera. Hello. Secret cameraman Ben.
Yeah. What you got there? Guns. Are you taking them? Yeah. I don't know if I want to put them in a pot or not. I might just have them as they are. I mean, I tried it and I like it, but I'm because I'm gonna put them in my car. What? Either. You're putting plants in your car. Cart. Oh, your cart. Cart. So you won't even see the pot. So I might leave it off for now and then. Fair. 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 I like that. Oh, we like it a lot. Go in it. Self service furniture area. And the warehouse part begins. Aisle 19. What location is it? Two. Location one, location two. Brascog. That's white. White. That one? Wait, two. Oh, oh that one. Look, they're white. In she goes. <laughs> boom. <gasps> hey, boom. We have obtained it. Mm. Just rearrange everything with one hand. Hey, boom. Except for this now on my floor. Hey, boom. Hey, <laughs> boom. Smooth. Sweet. There we go. Oh, you did it? Do your stuff first. Oh, I need to bring all this over. So I've literally just got back. And, oh my god, it is not as late as I thought it would be, if you want to be honest. I thought I would not be able to do this part until tomorrow. So the fact that I'm doing it today on the day is great. So it's not going to be a few days, like I said. It's going to be today, which is amazing. I can get everything that I wanted done done with this girl behind me. So as you saw, we went back to the warehouse. Ben and Ellie were with me. Ben was my little cameraman. He loved it, it was great. And I'll do the books first and then talk about what I got from Ikea, which you can probably guess already because of the title. But okay, I got some plants in Ikea. So I'll just show you. I got this little thing. I already have one of these. Now that you like it. <laughs> Yeah, I think she does. She wants to she wants to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I got this one and then I also got another little strawberry one as well because I want to bring more greenery into my room. Uh, I will eventually venture out and get more real plants but at the moment I'm just going to stick to my artificial ones because I'm afraid that I'm not going to keep it alive. But I then did go to the 66 book club warehouse again and in total like you saw I got 12 12 books all together so yeah I'm just going to show you what I've got I got a bookmark as well it just has all of the date of when it's going to be open there you go <laughs> okay you can't chew it but you can keep it there okay uh let me take them all out i'm gonna try and do it in order of what i picked i don't think i remember what i picked up first i don't know so we're just gonna just go by it okay so the first one i'm i will show is trying by emily phillips take me in by sabine durant durant is that her name Reckon's moaning oh, you want muddy paws on my bed again nala all right up you get Lie down <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Nala. <laughs> You're so bizarre. This <laughs> dog. Where are you going? What? What are you doing under there? What are you doing? And then there's this one. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, Baba. Nala. <laughs> you like. You're not a cat. <laughs> Moving on, well, we have these guys joining the video, I guess. Next one we've got is the Supremus. 
the Supremist Sting, the Happily Heartache Blues by Edward Kelsey Moore. No, Nala, Nala. Where he bark? Can you even get out? <laughs> Next, we have got Eleanor and Park asking for a friend. Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Way. A Narrow Door by Joanne Harris. This one is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setter. Field. I got is the Mexican Goth. Care Less Gape May by Chip Cheek. The last book I got, and my light is flashing at me, so I'm going to be quick, is Ask Me Anything by P. S. Raising. But these are, if I can pick them up, ah, all. Oh, shiver. These are all the books that I got from the warehouse. So all of this is basically a hundred pounds worth of books that I ended up getting for, drum roll please, 36 pounds. Crazy, crazy. So I'm very happy with everything that I got. And let me put this down because I feel like my wrist is gonna break. <gasps> Next though, as soon as we left the warehouse, we were only there for maybe just over an hour. And then after that, we made our way to Ikea where I got this thing right here. And I've been wanting one of these for quite a while now. I am running out of place to put all of my books. So, I bought a bar cart. So my plan is to have my books on top and then underneath my drinks and my, my alcohol so I can display it all and it can look all nice. And if this fit either under my desk or against my wall, that's where it's gonna be. But this is sort of what we're working with. So I've got all the stuff here. I've got my instructions, I've got the trays, we've got more stuff in there. And I'm gonna try and build this so I guess you can guys can come watch me struggle. a lot harder than I thought but I've done it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be able to slot this underneath my vanity but no. I think I'm just gonna fill this all out with all of the new books that I've got. So let's quickly fill it out then. sorted it is time for me to go to work because I have a late shift tonight which I can't avoid so I'm glad I got this sorted and done so I'm pretty much now just gonna get ready for work go to work and I'll see you guys when I get back later in the evening so it's gonna be dark when I get back but so glad I got this done okay see you guys in a bit Oh my god, I'm so tired. So I was back earlier than I thought I was gonna be. But I have just put me out of it. But we're gonna carry on. I wanna get some work done. I 
was supposed to upload a video today, but I haven't finished editing it yet, so On. I'm just checking up on some updates on my channel. Uh, I want to get some editing done really quick. I'm not going to do too much just because I have had a long day. I am exhausted as you can see. I'm so tired. I'm going to have an early night. I think I'm going to edit for a bit and then I will get ready for bed and probably just read for the rest of the evening. Okay. <laughs> King of the Wicked by Kerry Anamiskillo. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but Kingdom of the Wicked is my current read. I've still got my socks on, please ignore that. My feet are freezing. But I'm not far into this book. I started this book yesterday. I finished The Roommate by Rosie Dannon and I really enjoyed that book. It was such a funny rom-com, something I never had read before and I was like, you know what, I feel a bit of fantasy, I want something different. So I jumped into this book. I mean, I always struggle when it first comes to opening up a book, like a brand new book, start of a new series. It's always a challenge for me. I never get quite into it straight away, so I'm quite slow. But I'm only on page like 41, I'm on chapter 5 currently. And I'm probably going to read this for the rest of the night until I fall asleep. So yay. Oh my god, you can see my little bar cart in the corner. How cute and adorable. But yes, reading Kingdom of the Wicked at the moment, I'll let you know what I think of it. But at the moment I the story's just developing like the main plot to it hasn't really happened yet so I don't want to comment on how I feel because I need to give the book a job but that is pretty much it for today's video thank you so so much for watching until this point if you have enjoyed this video then please like comment subscribe do all of that youtube -y stuff that you already know how to do um I very much really appreciate it I love you guys all so 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 much and yeah thanks for coming along with me doing my favorite things in the world but yeah thank you for watching this video i do hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys all in the next one bye